What is good? How you doing, Jay Wayne? Thriving. Thriving. Gotta as be thriving. Use. As usual. Gotta thrive every week. Thrivefantasy.com. Go ahead and hit that up. Promo code DFFD. Get you a little player prop action. You can just bet player props or you can play in the tournaments. It's a lot of fun. Some of the you know best, most elite guys in the game. You don't have to waste your time with lower end scrubby you scrubs. Know, scrubs. You could just bet on Josh Allen and uh, over under two hundred ninety five passing yards. Right. Smash that over. Right. So you pick ten of those, and then you play in a tournament style game. You get points for you know each one that you don't have to play in the tournament. Why wouldn't you? Right. Right. The FFD all caps. They'll match your money up to a hundred dollars. They wait which ones are more difficult with you know different points and all that kind of stuff. So, well, good time. Go ahead and play that. It's a lot of fun. We've been having fun. They got a good product. Absolutely. All right, you ready to go? Let's do it. Let's get into it. We're gonna do a little Jalen Waddle action today. Now, you know, nothing crazy here. Just the fact that you know maybe he is an outlier. He's certainly not a bust. Because <laughs> this guy looks fucking unguardable. I know maybe some of the, the metric community, oh. the analytical community, maybe wasn't oh. super. Uh, they hated him. They had Super to interested have. in Jalen Waddle because of some of the some of the uh, breakout age and dominator stuff here. But well, his breakout age, his breakout age was in the nineteenth percentile, Ooh. and his college dominator was in the twenty two mm. percentile. I don't know how anyone could ever be good with a bad college dominator and a bad breakout age. Just a baseline, you know. And he's just you now he's just an outlier. Those guys are outliers. I feel like we should drink every time we say outliers. I almost want to change our fucking name to the outliers. Hey, I'm in, I'm with it. Um, Searching for outliers. Let let me get the outliers. This outlier looks borderline uncoverable right now. He looks so fucking dirty. And really, I just wanted to get on here and say you should probably try to go buy on some Jalen Waddle before it's too late because we haven't even seen, I Freak think, what, what could really be possible with Jalen Waddle and the explosion that could be. We haven't seen the down the field attack. We haven't seen the crazy yak yardage. Uh, really pile up we haven't seen all the crazy moves and and getting free and and really getting away from running away from people uh just yet and and two has been banged up and and you can really see that him and two are are when they're in there they're locked in together they got some chemistry he feeds them the 100 percent. it's coming that's 100 uh, it's, it's coming to really to, i think to be a game i think he's a game breaker and it's coming it's coming yeah, I mean, and it hasn't. He hasn't gotten loose, like you said. He has a long uh, reception. His longest reception is thirty six yards. Like he's barely even stretching. He ain't loose yet. Mm -mm. That's what his mo is: is to get loose down the field. But despite that, he's wide receiver twentieth. He's tied. Yeah, maybe been bat battling a little ankle action because he's been in and out of a couple games. But uh, well, always comes back. Always plays. Averaging fourteen point one points per game in PPR. And like you said, most with, of that sans Tua, right? Tua's, Tua's only played in three three games. There, there, he's credited with a fourth game, but only played nine snap, snaps of, of game two. Um, but overall, uh, Jalen Waddle is has fifty eight targets. That's tied for eleventh most. Forty four receptions. That's sixth most. Three hundred eighty three yards and three tutters. Yeah. He is getting two point two four yards per target separation well if the rookie was breakout age and the dominator was those receptions and being sixth his nfl breakout dominator age dominator would be, would off would the be great. fucking charts uh that target separation is good for seventh and you mentioned that he hadn't got loose to show the yak but he's still 11th in yak yards yeah with 188 yak yak so, and then, you know, let's yeah. go ahead and mention the context. Hasn't played with Tua, but when he has played with Tua, he's averaged 20.1 PPRs, mm. which that would be good for, I think, sixth. That'd I mean, be good for sixth wide receiver overall if it was oh, just him and Tua. That's straight facts and just, you know, 
you know, never, never telling lies over here. It's, that's just, is it not, are we keeping it 99? Keeping it. I think that's 100. Okay. That's 100. That nine, qualifies. six plus four pennies. Mm-hmm. Add that shit up. Mm, do it. <laughs> Add it up. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, looking at the game logs and just looking at what's happened, so, like, for the first seven weeks, okay, like, they haven't had this whole entire offense together at all. And, and and you know, Parker's played the first four weeks. Fuller's only played one game. Preston's played, like, one game where he had 40 snaps and then two other games where they were very limited. Parker's, like I said, Parker's been out. Two has been out. He's done it with, uh, he's done it with Brissett. He's done it without anybody else on the field and he's done it with everyone on the field which they haven't had everyone on the field but but he's actually succeeded either any way you cut it right as a as a rookie yeah like this man's wilding out and and i think you should be doing whatever you can to get him sprinkle Tua back in there and whoo right right Um, it's my man they got some rapport and and they're ready to roll so let's see. You want to put a little little dynasty twist? You want to throw yeah, some sure. trade actions? Let's, let's do it. But really, at the end of the day, bottom line, go get Waddle. Probably gonna have to pay a little more than a first because that's what whoever just bought him for paid for, and and he hasn't been disappointing necessarily. But you should probably get him before the hype really builds. Right, and and it doesn't feel like it is it's too uh, hype. Not, not a whole, not a whole lot of not a whole lot of love. But that's just how this thing goes with narratives. Like, if the analytics community got doesn't like yet. a guy. Well, then it just hasn't gotten rolling yet because the Dolphins haven't been very good. They've been absolutely to- right. terrible. No two, and, the, and they've been not good. So, not a whole lot of reason to talk about him. So. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, he's been stellar, man. He's wide receiver 20. Um, so, so I saw a trade go down uh, to uh, Waddle for a first and a third. I, I'd, I'd do that. Sure. That's, yeah, that's giving up a little bit more than the first. Yes, you had to sprinkle a little extra on there. Send that offer. Not really sure why you're doing that, but I guess maybe your team sucks. I don't know why you'd be trading Waddle. Yeah, for the first and the third, like you just picked him in the first, and and you're seeing just, good just shit getting, out of him, but just getting a third back. I yeah. guess I don't know. Maybe maybe you think it's going to be the one one. I don't know. R- wider seat or let's see, running back heavy people. I saw a trade go down. James Robinson, Sterling Shepard, and Jared Cook traded for. Visca Chenault mm-hmm. and Jalen Waddle. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, I mean James Robinson certainly worth a See decent ya. amount right now. Uh, See ya. Let me get Waddle next year. Potentially, you know, value goes down a little bit for Robinson because ET comes back. Who knows? You know what the what the whole deal with James Robinson is necessarily going to be. The guy's done nothing but be great. Uh, but yeah, probably got to take that that Visca Waddle side. Let me smash that. I think you should be selling James Robinson right Keep now my leg, for somebody my like legs open. <laughs> What? Better smash that. Yeah. Don't be surprised if she asks. Where the Where cash, the cash at? at? I think he made a, a hook out of that. I don't know, like a mixtape. Don't be surprised if you ask where the cash at. Where the, where the cash at? <laughs> where is the cash? Mm, it's under Jalen Waddle's fucking pillow. <laughs> Go get the bag. In a super flex, you'd mm-hmm. ship out Matt Ryan in a heartbeat for Jalen Waddle. For sure. And I mean, if, I, if you're winning... And Matt Ryan's your QB two. You're it's, lucky. It's, it's hard to. You shouldn't it'd, it'd be, be winning. Hard, it'd be hard to. I mean, Matt Ryan's been. No, but I know. But you shouldn't have come into this year thinking you were going to win with Matt Ryan as your QB two, and yeah. it's working out for you. It'd be kind of hard to ship him out in, in that regard, um, because you are winning, and, and Waddles. You can't put him in the. I would assume that if QB, Matt Ryan's your QB two in the super flex, the rest of your team isn't that great, and you probably should just ship him out I would for a good asset. Maybe the rest of your team is awesome, but maybe. This guy's team is probably going the opposite direction, and, and maybe the other Waddle guy was like, "I need another quarterback, and I'd be good." I don't good. know why. It, yeah, I don't. Sure. Would you trade Godwin in a two for Waddle in the one? Mm. Move your two up to a one and swap Godwin and now Waddle. We're getting there somewhere. Um, seems like a decent deal to me. I mean, I like Godwin. He's a, I, we don't know where he's going to end up next year on the franchise tag this year. Um, could figure out a way to come back, I guess, with Tommy. Uh, but Godwin is is great, and this is seems like maybe we're being uh, maybe I'm being disrespectful to Godwin here a little bit. But I like the Waddle and the one. I think. I think I do too, man. I do love Godwin and bullish on Godwin. But I'm I'm I think I'm getting pretty bullish on Waddle. Yeah, like how could what you I, not? Like what I'm seeing. How could you not? 2.24 yards of separation per target. Mm. Put that on now. All right, here's a good one. Well, here's okay, a spicy Let's, one. what do you got? Spice Waddle or Devonte Smith? Mm. Devonta Smith, excuse me. Devonta Smith, yeah. 
Um, Which well, we've always been. We've I've been, been we've Devonta been over Waddle. Over Waddle. I, I think I, Big Co may have, have alluded to wanting Waddle at I one point or another. Been, I, I, I'm a little. I was a little on the fence. I went. Well, I went. I went Smith. I'm still going to be partial to Devonta Smith. Um, we haven't got to really see Peak Smith. Peak Smith yet because it hurts. Hurts isn't probably holding them back a little bit mm-hmm. um i think devonta smith again you know make an evade trade video for waddle you should probably trade for devonta smith here mm-hmm. as started off with a couple of good games it's been a little up and down hurts isn't playing great eagles are you know getting worse and worse seemingly week by week um but i think i would still stick with devonta smith here i really like what he brings to the table but um can't be mad no i, I think it's a coin flip you could go either way yeah i can't argue Personally, I think I'm sticking to Vonda still, but the Slim Reaper, mm-hmm. just uh, yeah. I mean, I, I like the overall talent level a little bit better with Devonta. So in Dynasty, that that's probably what you should do. Mm-hmm. But it just goes to show you, like we talked about, you know, in the, in the other segment <clears throat> or other video, if you're watching on YouTube with Tua, uh, the top tier of this rookie class was really strong. With, with those top four or five guys, or top three to five guys, however you want to cut it up. But then the next tier seems like borderline almost as strong. Pretty like, strong. Bomb-ass second tier that, that Waddle and Smith fit mm-hmm. right into. And then, I mean, we're going to do a rookie re, re-rookie draft it up maybe next week or something at the mid midway point. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, oh man, mid-season meatloaf over Ooh. on Patreon. Got to hit that up. Oh, yeah, and, and I mean, yeah, but maybe uh, if Kadarius was healthy, he'd be in this conversation. Right, right. Ka, ka, Kadarius. <laughs> little toony, mm-hmm. little toonchy. All right. You let's got anything else? Here. No, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's, wrap this, uh, let's wrap this deal up. Go Appreciate get you some waddle. Figure it out. And if you're watching this, let me get that subby. And the noti, hit that noti, you know, so you know when we put out the new shit, which has been fairly consistent on a weekly basis, maybe different from day to day, but just trying to pump it out there for y'all, for your, for your pleasure, doing this for you. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Peace.